Hello, my name is Feng Yu Ye, or you can just call me Leo. Today I'm going to talk to you about canine distemper virus. Canine distemper virus is a very dangerous and deadly virus as it can affect dogs or mammals in any age. Just like my dog who passed away last year from being infected by this virus six months after he was born. So if you own a dog or you plan to own a dog, you should continue to watch this as it will educate you to be aware that this virus exists and should be known by people. But if you don't own a dog or you don't plan to own a dog, you should continue to watch this because it won't do you any harm to gain some knowledge, right? All right. So yesterday I have the privilege to invite one of the Oscar winning scientists, Leonardo Tricaprio, here to talk about this deadly virus. Take a look, please enjoy. Thank you. Hello, Professor Tricaprio. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. So today I invited you here so you can talk or discuss with us about a virus that you're specialized in, canine distemper virus. So can you tell us a bit, like give us a brief introduction about what canine distemper virus is? Yes, of course. But then I think we should step back and talk about virus in general first. Well, viruses are non-living, and they can only reproduce when they're in a living cell. So they don't have their own means of transcription or protein th synthesis. So they rely on host cells' enzyme to, in order to produce ATP and to live. So usually drugs cannot um, target this, the virus because it could uh, kill the host cell as well. So it will not be effective. So when the virus infects the organism's body, what happens to the immune system? How, what does it do to kill the virus? So chemotaxis is a movement in response to chemicals will attract phagocytes uh, to the area of invasion in response to the protein produced by the pathogens. So the phagocyte will then uh, attach itself to the pathogen's cell surface and engulf it and form a phagosome, which is a vesicle that contains the pathogen. Then the lysosome, which is a digestive enzyme, will come and dig uh, digest or dissolve the pathogens inside the phagosome. Another way for the immune system to respond to uh, pathogens is through the production or formation of antibodies. When a virus that contains a specific antigen, the corresponding lymphocyte in our body will bind to it as part of an immune response. It will later clone thousands of itself in order to eliminate or destroy all, all the pathogens. And this process is called clonal selection. Okay, so now we're finished with a brief introduction of virus. So tell us, Professor, what exactly is canine distemper virus and how, why is it dangerous? All right, one at a time. First, canine distemper, also referred as CDV, is a single-stranded negative sense retrovirus. A retrovirus is uh, a virus that contains RNA as its gene and uses reverse transcriptase to make copies of DNA when it's inside the host cell. And dogs in, of any age have a risk of being infected. But puppies 3 to 18 months without any vaccines have the highest, ch highest chance of getting infected. One of the reasons why this virus is so dangerous is because this virus is very contagious as it spreads through contact with bodily fluids like feces or urine 6 days to 22 days after exposure. It can also be spread by food or water that is contaminated by this bodily fluid. So um, from what I remember when my dog was ill, I remember that there's this green gooey stuff coming out from his eyes and his eyes were really red. He kept on coughing and having this fever for a couple of days 
and three days before he passed away, he had multiple severe seizures for three days straight. So, Professor, um, are these common symptoms when dogs are affect, infected by this virus, or and is there any other symptoms that we as a dog owner should be aware of? Sorry to hear what happened to your dog. Uh, and your dog showed basically showed all the symptoms symptoms that a dog can have when they're being infected by canine distemper virus. So first when the virus enters the body, it will replicate in the lymphatic tissue of the respiratory tract. Then it will when it when it enters the bloodstream, it will start to affect the respiratory system, digestive system, reproductive system, central nervous system, and eventually the optic nerves. The signs that is within the central nervous system uh, includes involuntarily twitching of muscles, seizures, and movement of jaws, which it is. Uh, commonly known as chewing gum fit. The dog may show symptoms or signs like increase in sensitivity to light, in coordination, circling, and increase in sensitivity to uh, stimuli such as pain or touch. Since this is such a deadly and dangerous virus, are there ways to prevent dogs from being infected by this virus? And is there ways to treat dogs when they're being infected by this virus. The good news is that there are vaccines that can help prevent dogs from being infected by this virus, like DA2 PPC vaccines. So the way a vaccine works is to provide an altered virus or an epitope, uh, and this, the, the dog's immune system will then respond to this pathogen and leave behind a memory cell. The memory cell is crucial because when the real pathogen infects the dog, the, the memory cell will respond to this pathogen quickly by producing thousands or millions of antibodies in order to kill the virus. And before the dog shows any symptoms, the virus will be completely eliminated or destroyed. So, so far, there is no specific treatment to treat dogs that is being infected by this canine distemper virus. So the only thing that the dog owner can do is to provide a dry environment because virus replicates really well when it's in a wet environment as water is their ways, their means to reproduce. It's the place, the perfect environment to reproduce. And to, you know, create the water balance in the dog's body or to, and to increase the immunity of the dog so it can fight off the virus by itself. There are, however, hopes to the dog owners because scientists are producing treatments to treat dogs that is being infected by this virus. And as, it call, as the medicine or the drugs called Elephron 1. And it has a huge potential to treat this virus and brings a smile back to the dog owner's face again. Thanks to science, our society are improving every day by making new discoveries. But people may think that science is dull and boring. But let me tell you, science is not dull or boring. Science is beautiful. Think about the smiles it will bring to the dog owners when their dogs are 100% cured. Think about your loved ones. Think about what science can do to help your loved ones. The universe is infinite and we are part of this infinity so please no matter what field of science you're interested in let us work together as a human being or as a species make this world a better place for us to live for other species to live and for our future generation thank you see you next time